It's my great pleasure to welcome you at the 2022 Edu Data Summit. I welcome this year's team dedicated to sustainable and inclusive lifelong learning through Edu Data. Right now, one of the biggest topics is DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And there's a lot of work that our institutions in the United States need to do, and there's a lot of learning that needs to happen around that. And so continually being open to learning new things, absorbing new knowledge from the colleagues around you, and being forward-looking about what's important and what's coming around the bend. I think ultimately, to be successful in technology, you also have to think about how can you be disruptive and not just incremental. So constantly challenging into how do you um, not chase taillights, in other words, just sort of go after the what's next thing, but really think about what are the uh, rather transformative steps one can take to really change an outcome. Being able to make sure that we look at data to have it truly be the baseline and determine the direction we need to go, how do we create, how do we form, how do we make sure that the programs and initiatives are going to be specific and intentional for the populations and the parties that we are trying to serve. For many years at QS, we've operated individual products, services. There have been self-evident ways in which they fit together on the university side, but we haven't found and taken the time to draw together the underlying observations that we might draw from their collective data funnels. That, I think, is going to be the really interesting thing for QS. We work with universities, specifically in the data science side of things, but it's been interesting to now step back and look at higher education at large and think about the role that data itself plays in those decisions. It's not about reducing things to averages. I think it's about collecting really specific data and then looking at that, are there these kind of patterns that are emerging that I can then do a takeaway from and say, here's an opportunity to shift, here's an opportunity to adapt, um, or to offer more. Where I'm going to go next is really thinking about how I leverage data and bring to life three-dimensional scapes where learners can explore, where they can build their own learning journey, and where the world that they are immersed in can really help support them on upskilling and pushing themselves to the next steps and where they want to go on their learning journey. What I am taking back home is storytelling. Still, I think that we have to connect to the senior leaders, short but, but simple but efficient storytelling for them is the way in which these elements will be more productive in, in our universities. I've never felt such a buzz at a conference like this before. That's important to us, but that's important to me. I want to take that buzz back. I want to be able to say that in a week's time, in a month's time, in six months' time, we're still feeling that buzz, we're still having the conversations, we're still moving in the direction that we've started out here. The EduData Summit has been a fantastic few days for everybody at QS. It's really shown the way that we have helped the global higher education sector through the pandemic, coming back in person with an extremely thought-provoking set of discussions.